Welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Positive day. It's a beautiful day outside where I live. Hopefully it's a beautiful day where you live. Um, and we're going to check this video out. It's Americans complaining about third world countries for 10 minutes. Um, and I guess they get a few people off 90 Day Fiance that traveled, you know, to a third world type country and they had a lot of complaints. And I just don't get those people. I don't. I really don't because nobody's forcing these people to go to a third world country or somebody else's country. So why complain? If you're going to complain, why be there? You know? Go there, love what you do, love what you see. And, um, you know, it's different cultures, different experiences. It's not going to be the same as where you live. It just isn't. Every country is unique and different and beautiful. But anyway... We're going to check this out. Let's check out their complaints. Let's do this. This is my first time to the Philippines. Ah. And I'm in this big city called Manila. On a side note, I, I don't know. I didn't really watch this episode. Big Ed, big, big no neck, big something. Big something. I, I, he's big something. I forget. You let me know. But I actually used the 90 day fiance uh, visa, the K1 visa. Me and my Filipino wife, so we're well aware of what you had to do, what what kind of um, hoops you had to jump through to be able to use it. But, you know, it worked out for us because my wife and I absolutely love each other. 90 days is not a very long time, so you need to get to know them as much as possible before they come over on the visa because 90 days, 3 months... Um, it's hard to really know somebody in that amount of time, you know, you're taking a little bit of risk, but my wife and I tried to, um, spend as much time as possible together, uh, in person and, you know, on the phone and video chats and all that, and it worked out for us. But how about big, let's just call him big, no, our big, no neck complaint. All right, let's go. We're about three to four hours away from where Rose's hometown is. I knew it would be a little crazy, but it's quite a shocker. Oh, my God, look how it is so congested. Look at this. It's Manila. It's Manila. Did you not do any research before you went to the Philippines? The population there is huge, huge, lots of people. So, of course, it's going to be congested. We even have congested places in the United States. Big Rob, Big Egg, Big whatever you are. I can't, I don't even know his name. It is what it is. This is, this is crazy. No, it's life. It. Don't get me wrong, it's... He said he liked it? <laughs> he went from one second saying it's crazy to the next second. Oh, yeah, I like it. I don't know. Sometimes actions speak way, way, way louder than words, you know? Like I always say, I want to be showed I'm love. Um, you can tell me all you want, but when you show you love me, that's what counts. You know what I'm saying? I hope you agree because that's how I feel about it. It's just a lot to take in. It's just people. Hi. Hi, do you speak English? Does anybody speak English? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> pajamas, I think these are pajamas. <laughs> the fact that Rose doesn't even have pajamas made me feel really sad. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get her pajamas. Hi. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe he said, do you speak English? Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Just talk to them. They're humans. If you did any kind of research at all, you would know a lot of Filipinos know some English, you know? And maybe if you're going to another country, how about you learn a little bit of Tagalog? You know, a little bit, just a little bit. Or if your wife's Messiah, learn a little bit of Messiah. Or Chavacano, Sabuana, whatever it may be. Learn a little bit, you know? Learn a little bit. And go straight to the pajamas. Well, guess what? A lot of the a lot of the people in the world don't own pajamas. So why why be sad about it? Oh, I have pink. Yeah. Nice. How much? One eighty. Hundred eighty pesos. Give me a wallet. You can't just grab from my wallet. Okay. I want to see how much this is. I don't even I don't even know how much this is. 
So, you can't grab her my wallet because I don't even know how much this is. She's trying to help you. She's trying to help you. It's her land. It's her country. It's her culture. She's helping you. You offered to buy it, but yet you don't want to hand her the money to do it. It makes no sense, Big Rob, Big Ed, Big No Neck, Big whoever you are. How much? 180? Awesome. Big <laughs> asshole. No. Yeah. No. Keep the change. It's, it's a ten pesos. Thank you. Okay. Just ten pesos. I'm just in a swarm of hot, sweaty people. Right now, it's probably. You know, I'm gonna pause this for a second. I'm looking at this picture. Uh, the lady in the orange. I don't see any sweat. Lady in the white beside me. I don't see any sweat. The only person I see sweat on Big Rob. Big whoever you are is you. It's you. It looked like you, you know, jumped in a ocean and got out and part your part of your shirt dried and it's, there's still some left. But that's not what the case is. The only sweaty person that's there, Big Ed, is you. I mean, come on. You gotta agree. You you see the picture. Holy, over a hundred degrees. I'm sweating my ass off right now. I don't know if it's your ass. Listen, I'm dying. I'm like so hot right now. Yeah. Get a mango shake. I'm soaking wet. I know. I know. I, I, I want to go. I am so uncomfortable right now. The only thing I wanted to do was spoil Rose, but I'm sweating like a pig, and I'm upset because Rose is grabbing my wallet and pulling money out and handing it to vendors. I'm just. I'm done with this right now. I went out of This dude is, I'm glad I didn't watch all these episodes because this man is pissing me off. Pissing me off. Here. This is the normal. I know, but I just, I want to go. I need air con, I need air conditioning. I want to go. I want to go. He sounds like a little two-year-old. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want air conditioner. I want a cookie. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, I'm dying right now. He's not okay. Hey, Mr. Krabs is getting all sweaty again. <laughs> Sorry for my roof. Oh. Will this roof hold? It's not gonna come down, no. They live in it. They live in it every single day. So do you think they're gonna be in there with the roof caving in on you? Of course, there's always a chance, but that's pretty damn rude. That's pretty damn rude. They invited you, Big Rob, Big Ed, Big No Neck, Big Orange Shirt Man, into their house, and the very first thing you're gonna do when you step in the house is criticize it? Hey, send his ass packing. Bye. That's what I would do if I was Rose. No, 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 no. Already, already. Oh, I can help. I don't yeah. think you can help like this, Big Ed. She doesn't have a bed. She has a little mattress pad that she rolls out. So she basically. That's her bed. You know, some people have mattresses, some people have pads, some people sleep on bamboo, some people don't have a bed at all. So yes, wherever you lay your head, wherever you lay your butt, guess what? Big Ed, Big Rob, Big Orange Neck, that's a bed. Wherever you lay down, that's a bed. Plain and simple. He sleeps on the floor. So where's Prince gonna sleep? With my sister but I have a skin condition called atopic dermatitis. So oh, yeah? I can only sleep with sheets that have at least a thousand thread count. So I put- You also, <laughs> did he just say, <laughs> did he just say he needed a sheet with a thousand thread count? <laughs> Go home, big Ed. Go home to your silk sheets, your air condition, the language you can understand because you've gave no freaking effort at all to do to be any part of their culture, any of it. You keep reverting and you keep complaining 
and you keep saying, well, you know, basically this is not how it is in the United States. You know, we have a bed. We have a mattress. I'm Big Ed. I need a mattress. I need sheets with at least a thousand thread counts. How could I ever sleep on a bed without a thousand thread counts? How could that possibly be? Get over yourself. You also have another condition, Big Rob, Big Ed, Big Blue Shirt, No Neck Man. A mental condition, and it's called an asshole. You are a asshole. Yes, I said it. I said it. Preemptively shipped these special sheets to Rose. He but they didn't arrive. He no, shipped sure. sheets over there. <laughs> you not believe me? Oh. You, you here? I cannot believe I'm here. <laughs> I really can't believe I'm here. I can't believe she's kept you here. I can't believe she hasn't kicked your ass out of their house. I can't believe it. That's what I can't believe, Big Rob, Big Ed. I wish I knew his name, but I don't. I don't even want to take the time to learn. It's one of those two, I think. This is my home. This is my life. Right. This is my ordinary life. Right. Water is coming. A little bit. No shit, Rob Ed. Oh my God, is that thunder? Yeah. He said, oh God, is that thunder? <laughs> like he's never heard thunder. Oh my God, it's thunder. <sighs> so the electrical, no problem. No. No, okay. Oh, he's pissing me off. I know. Don't worry. I'm scared. I feel sorry for Rose. What? You scared like a big baby. <laughs> Yeah, get her. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> I chased my outfit. What the f am I doing? <laughs> I'm not even going to touch that. I had a comment, but it's not appropriate. This is f insane. I want to go to sleep. I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah. Mainly tired of your ass, Big Rob, Big Ed, Big No Neck. Oh, <laughs> oh they're with yeah, electricity. They're very lax. That's a common thing in the Philippines. You know, there's a lot of places in the Philippines that do lose their electricity. Guess what, Big Rob, Big Orange Neck? You actually lose electricity here in the United States, too. It happens um, pretty frequently. It's okay, don't panic. I'm gonna be here. I'm here, don't panic. Okay? Are you sure? Yeah. Do you need a night light? <laughs> oh, no fan. Uh-oh. Great, great, great. <laughs> At the end it says, in general, all the Americans in this season are annoying as hell. You know when that's all they have to do is complain? Yeah. They're annoying. Very annoying, but I don't know if I could watch. I don't know if I could watch their story. I don't know. I don't know if it's something you'd want me to watch because I'm going to criticize the hell out of it because I just that short of a clip, I couldn't do it. I couldn't take it. I would not want to be around that man. Very negative person. Um, and that's all I got to say. My mama said, if you don't have anything to say, any nice things to say, don't say anything at all. So I'm just going to stop right there. Anyway, hopefully you like the reaction, the thoughts. What are your, what's your reaction? What's your thoughts? Comment down below. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And I'll try to get to it. But for now, hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you subscribed. And hopefully you've commented. But I'll see you next time. Stay safe. And uh, I'll see you.